So you've connected your SIM card, but you get this not registered or network problem. My SIM is working fine, but if you need to fix the problem, the first solution is we're going to eject our SIM card. And sometimes the physical connection is having problems. So your SIM may be a little bit dirty. And so all of the information of the SIM is read from this side. And so all we need to do is just rub this side. I'm using my jumper. Uh, you can use a towel, you know, a t-shirt, your trousers or pants if you're in, depends on the country. And so once we rub this, we're going to pull it back in our phone. And hopefully that will solve the problem. Well, if it doesn't, then the issue may be related to your Wi-Fi. So your Wi-Fi is fetching the mobile network information and that's just causing a glitch. So not to worry, we're going to temporarily turn off our Wi-Fi and we're just going to make sure that the mobile data is on. Even if it's showing nothing there, that's fine. Because what we need to do is we need to restart the phone now. So we're going to press and hold power and volume down together. And we'll keep these held down until we see this screen. We are then going to restart the phone. And after the restart, it's going to fetch your network information using your SIM card instead of the Wi-Fi. And that should solve it. So after the restart, Give it five uh, minutes, see if that solved the problem. If it doesn't, there's one more thing we can do on the phone itself, and that is to reset the mobile data settings. So to reset that, let's open the settings. And from here, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see general management. And from here, Scroll until you see the reset option. And we're just going to scroll down until we see reset mobile network settings. To so all we'll tap on this and we'll reset the settings. If you are watching this video on a phone that is not the Samsung S24 Ultra, this may just say reset network settings. And if you proceed, that is going to make you reconnect your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth and you'll have to re-enter the passwords. So once this is reset here, we're going to restart the phone again. So we'll restart the phone and hopefully that solves the problem. If it doesn't, you'll, you may need a new SIM card. So call up the carrier company, uh, tell them the problem and they should give you a new SIM card. Uh, there's, it's possible that your SIM is brand new and brand new SIMs, sometimes you just need to wait half an hour for the SIM to activate. But uh, regardless, the problem is with the carrier at that point, and so you'll need to contact them.